Hello everyone, Zane here and welcome back to my beginner's guide to crafting and Final Fantasy XIV. In this video, I'm going to be showing you guys all about collectible synthesis. Now this is not going to be a part of the Heaven's Ward crafting series for beginners because I wanted this to be a completely separate video altogether. Alright, so to unlock collectibles, you go to Ishgard, to the next to the Lev Giver, you'll have a NPC who will give you the quest, Inscrutable Tastes. You'll come to Mordona after speaking with her. You talk to the female Rogan next to me, and she will give you your um, collectible synthesis ability, and also your collector's glove ability for gatherers. And you also will unlock Rowena's House of Splendors. It is on a reset timer, as with your with your grand company. And every time it resets, all these items here will change to something else. Each level here will have a set amount of items each time it resets. So you're starting out at level 51, all the way up to level cap at level 70. You also will be given currency, such known as scripts. It's kind of like the um, tombstones of crafting. Every time you uh, craft collectibles and you pass them in, you'll get scripts, gill, and experience. Now. Each item has three different collectability ranges. You get base, okay, base, and bonus. So basically, unlike high quality crafting, we have to make the whole thing 100% to get high quality. With collectibles, you only need to go up to a certain point and then you can stop. But you kind of want to get it all the way to the end to get the max reward. So the base collectability is six uh, for a level 70 item it's 660 to 929 once you surpass 929 collectability you'll have you'll be in the bonus area at 930 to 1189 and of course you do the if you did the maximum collectability at 1190 for this item level 70 you'll get the max reward so the base is going to be uh, pretty low and the bonus and uh, the maximum bonus would be the highest you can get and the middle would be in between the lowest and the highest. If you get a star next to it, you get double the reward. Same thing with the Grand Company. If it's star, you get double the points. So if you get a star, you get double the scripts, double the experience, and more gill. So let's go ahead and make a gazelle skin wristband and I'll show you the interface. So, without the collectible synthesis ability up, you see here, you have a high quality rate. If you activate collectible synthesis, it changes to collectability rate. So let's go ahead and uh, start crafting this. So basically, it's the same thing as normal crafting, except you're raising your collectability. Once you hit the lowest rating possible, you can just go ahead and make the item. But of course, your focus is on making the item to 100%. So I'm just going to craft this manually. So I got the maximum. Let's go ahead and make the item. All right. So once you make the item, you get a you get a prompt saying only one collectible can be synthesized at a time, so you can't quick synth, and collectibles cannot be traded or sold in the markets. So you hit yes. And there you go. So you basically cannot use this item for anything but the turn in. If you want to lower quality it, all it will do is bring collectible to normal quality. You can't go from collectible to high quality to normal quality. It goes straight to normal quality in case you forgot to pass it in or if the timer reset because you couldn't get online to pass them in, you can just um, reduce them so they actually become usable or hold on to them until the next reset. 
So after you make the item, you come to a collectible appraiser. Now there's one in Mordona, Adelshire, and the three city-states that you pretty much start the game off with. Old Dog, Gridani, and Limsa Lamensa. So we're going to talk to the appraiser, pass in the item, and then you reap the reward. Since I made this a maximum, I got 51 yellow uh, crafter scripts, some gill, and of course, I'm, since I'm level cap, I don't get experience. It, but if you aren't level cap, you'll get experience. And again, if you get starred, you'll actually will get double the reward. Just like, you're, just like your grand company. Once you have amassed a bunch of uh, scripts, you come to the script exchange NPC next to the appraiser, and you'll have a um, some item items you can you can select. Um, the one in oh, there's also one in uh, Ralgar's Reach if you're in Stormblood. Uh, Ralgar's Reach pretty much has more available. So we'll just go ahead and quickly go to Ralgar's Reach to show you the all of the options that you have. So here we are in Ralgar's Reach next to the collectible exchange here. So basically an Isle Shire and Ralgar's Reach will have a slew of options to look at. You get a little range and Isle Shire will go up to 60 while Ralgar's Reach goes up to 70. So Red Scripts you have the Soul of the Crafter which is for Specialist. Engineering Manuals which is for Experience and so leveling up. These are for a specialist action that is pretty much not really that good. And then you have Materia. There's pretty much, you're pretty much going to be using your red scripts on anyway. And something else. Uh, level 61. You have um, main hand tools. Body gear. And then you have Master of Speed Books. For Stormblood. For yellow scripts you have the yellow script items. The uh, meldable kind. And then you have the current end game crafting materials. So basically those are what you can use for your uh, script uh, script tokens. You pass those in to get pretty sweet gear and master recipe books. So basically that all it, there is to uh, craft uh, crafting collectibles. Make sure you have your collectible synthesis up at all times. And also look at what is available to you and make sure you pass in what you make before it resets because sometimes if it's not exactly the same you're gonna have to wait for it resets again and then you're gonna be sitting on a crap ton of collectibles that pretty much is going to take a lot of space in your inventory so make sure you pass them in before it resets and make sure to see if there's anything starred because that will give you twice as much experience uh, scripts and gill Alright guys, so that's going to be it for this video. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to leave a like on this video if you found this useful. Any comments, questions, or concerns you have about collectible, collectibles, please leave them in the comment section down below. I'll be more than happy to answer any questions you guys have. And also don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you are new for more Final Fantasy XIV content. So until next time guys, may you forever walk in the light of the Lord Bahamut. Take care guys.